5.45. I slept really good. I'm up and I'm ready for the day. And I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm loving waking up to such a clean house. Loving it. Clean kitchen. Ugh. I'm really liking this fly lady thing. Probably more than I thought I would. So, let's go wake up more. Now I had the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. And I owe it all to you. Cause home. Daddy! Open the door for him. Daddy! Hey, guys. Wish on the moon and look for the gold in a rainbow and you'll find a happy talk. Has been fed and kids have been fed I'm heading now to the co-op because I have run out of both rabbit feed well I've not ran out ran out but I'm low on rabbit feed and quail feed and I need to get some bedding because we got to clean out that cage to get ready for the chickens here we go 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 away with me mm. far from his heartless eyes, I can love you. Finally carried in all the bags. You guys have no idea. <laughs> well, some of you probably do. Carrying bags stinks, especially when I have to go almost 200 feet to do it. Um, and have to do it by myself. But I was so excited because the other co-op, or the other one I was going to, was 14 miles away. This one is 5 miles away. The one that was 14 miles away for a bag of rabbit pellets was 17 and some change for a 40 pound bag and for a 50 pound bag of the game bird feed for the quail <laughs> it was um 17 and some change so this co-op had 50 pound bag of the quail feed and it was third no it was 15 dollars and a 50 pound bag of rabbit pellets um for 12 bucks. So guess where we're gonna be going from now on? And I got some more bedding, and today I'm gonna attempt to, attempt to clean out the under trying to catch and move out. This should be fun. Me back in the house so I don't get to finish but dude's in a clean house and he's rearranged you remember had all the bed the feed and stuff here I moved it we put Elvis here he is not happy about being rearranged and instead of having like this big pile over here I neatly put feed in my storage bins here I've got just a little bit more I got to spend some more time out here to get this straightened up because it bothers me that it's so messy and I think it would be more efficient if it wasn't messy it's just finding time away from the house because I'm being paged back to the house. So, okay, let's go ahead. Repeat after me. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> Okay, so here's my thought on the inauguration love him or hate him the reality is as he's our president now and I think the best thing that we could all do is pray for the man because our future is at his disposal so 
that's what I have to say about that. Yeah, like cake out. I made it from scratch. It's got strawberries in it. And then I made a strawberry cream cheese frosting. And yes, I put red food coloring in it. So it looked a little bit more red. So I'm super excited to try this out. So let's frost this cake. Try it and see what you think. You're going to be the first person that gets to try it. I think you got ice and not cake. What do you think? You like it? <laughs> Winter, you have a hard life. You know what? You have a hard life. Funny story about Winter. So I was out in the barn and I was cleaning and doing some stuff and I came back in the house and I probably wasn't in the house five minutes and she needed to go potty. Um, and so we went back outside to let her go to the bathroom. Well, while I was out, this van drives by and it was going through different ha to the different houses. Um, and they were knocking on people's door and I was like, who in the world? Well, they pulled into my driveway and I was out in the yard and it was two older women in dresses and they get out and they're like pointing at me. And I thought, what in the world? Could they Hush. And I thought, what in the world could they possibly want? And they kept pointing at Winter and talking and kind of whispering to themselves. They set something by my door and then took off. They were Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> And apparently the side of winter, they were they wasn't having it. They wasn't having none of that. So and they were pointing at our door. Yeah, they were pointing at our door. So apparently Jehovah's Witnesses were afraid of my dogs. They don't know she's vicious. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know how vicious this dog is. Look at it. It's a killer. It's a killer. Absolutely beautiful outside today. So we are coming outside to play and we're gonna go into the barn and everybody's gonna get to hold some babies. I wanna try to acclimate the babies the best they can. Look <laughs> at my neighbor's horses. They're all like, what in the world is this lady doing? But we're gonna go out here to the barn and let let the kids hold some baby bunnies. Livy's eating cake. <laughs> hey, Foxy, about all these people in your house. You're not feeling it, are you? Hi, guys. Hi. You coming to check it out? Oh gosh, that crazy lady's in here. See, the crazy lady's in here. What in the world? What in the world? So I don't have a rake. So I use my, my hoe and I spread all this compost. Some of these places like right in here, it's about five to six inches deep. Um, it doesn't quite go to the fence. I've still got quite a way to go. If I got a rake, I could probably rake this out a little bit thinner and get it all the way. But what you don't realize is like, this is from all rabbits. Straw bedding, rabbit, rabbit manure, even the stuff out there, it's all rabbit. This stuff that's rich in black, or like a dark color, this is from the pony. I've actually had this composting here beside me um, for a long time since about eight months now so I've got to get it all the way to the fence and then all the way down there <laughs> so it'll take quite a few more barn cleans but honestly if I cleaned all of the rabbit stalls and replaced the bedding I would at least get past that um, this clothesline and what do you know what I'm gonna do uh, Tangie was suggesting it about putting up um, different things to attract pollinators and so I think I'm going to actually put something on the corner posts to hang flower baskets and I'm gonna hang flower baskets from these two guys in between trellises and then a flower baskets over there so I'm gonna hang these beautiful flower baskets up up above like up, up above the garden blah, 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 if I can speak up above the garden and then up there on the uh, clothesline poles to hopefully attract some bees and butterflies. I was shocked at how much bedding and manure were in this one little stall because I had not cleaned this since the rabbits for I first got them, so October. This is the middle of January. It was actually the first day of November when I put rabbits in here. So November the 1st until January the 20th, this has not been cleaned out. So it's had rabbits and quail and everything in it. So it was quite funky. Um, but what I'm planning to do is put in fresh bedding and I'm gonna find some sticks and I'm gonna make a little mini roost and make a little mini nesting box. I'm gonna make this the perfect little area for chickens. Um, we go pick them up tomorrow, so. Yay! Hey, you see you hey, hey, hey. Get Mimi love. Mm -hmm. 
No, you're not getting in there with the little babies. Can I get in there with the little babies? Whoop, whoop, whoop. They said nope. Oh, you don't get me. <laughs> Look at her run. It said forget you. I'm going back to my mama. Give them a new feeder. And they thoroughly enjoy it. And then we finished and cleaned out this. And so I've got feeder and water up and elevated. Built them a little roost. And we have a little nesting box that I've covered up. So that they, and it's made of plastic. I mean, it looks janky, but honestly, you know what? They don't care. They're chickens. And this is a perfect little size for both of them. This is actually, this run is actually bigger than what? Oh my lord. Really? <laughs> anyway, this run is actually bigger than what I priced today at Tractor Supply for like a little chicken house. It was 226 bucks. So I don't care if it does look janky. At least it ain't 226. Okay, so I'm going to turn the lights on for the quail. We're done for the thing for the whole night. I have everything I could possibly finish in the barn. <laughs> Whenever this one's done, losing it over these babies. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the house, we're gonna eat dinner, get ready for the live stream. The kids are gonna go to Mamaw's house tonight, so me and John get a date night. Love you guys, make sure you check out our social media links down below and we'll see you tomorrow. Love you, bye. bye.